See, my thing is, it's not neutral and it's not thinking while playing or combos or anything because you know, I have a couple BNBs. But yeah. my main thing is inputs right now. I miss input like nobody's business. Yes. And uh, I think I just need to play the game a little bit more. I felt like I was, yeah. I thought I was doing that's really. Hot. I mean, that's really just the best way to improve is just playing the game more. You'll feel more comfortable with inputs. That's more. what I did with Smash, and it kind of worked out. Yeah, I mean, Smash is much more like that. In this game, you can spend 90% of your time in training mode and still do well. Still, oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, because combos. Well, yeah. Speaking of combos, we got Sticky Docky and Dreamcaster on here. I saw Dreamcaster. He was doing some fancy stuff to Joey over in the corner. I, 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 I was kind of shook. I'm not going to lie. Yep, both of these are pretty weak players, but we'll see what happens. Ruby B and B, I love it. Yep, spin, Ru spin, spinny, spin, spin. So from what I've heard, uh, Blue Moon told me that if you have a scythe in this game, you're probably a top tier. Yes. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yes. Is there a scythe character that's bad? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Scythe characters tend to have long range, and long range is always good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I guess swords are small in this game? I don't fully understand. Usually I mean, swords are like the go-to thing. It depends thing. On, how, on whose sword. Linnea's sword is very small. Aurier's sword, you can see, is very big. Lots of reach. Okay, so I guess it just depends on what anime you're from. Yep. <laughs> or what from anime-based series. It depends on whether really. you have a gigantic cloud-sized sword or oversized razor blades. But who needs that when you have a scythe and all scythes are big? Yes. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. There is no small scythe. Y you right, you right. <laughs> so I guess Armor. I guess technically Dreamcaster's in the lead because he uh sticky uh sticky Daki has one character down. It's pretty hard to say here, but I would say he's in the lead because no matter how low you're oh never mind. Uh okay so no. yeah now he's behind. Yep. But he has resonance now which can uh he put oh, you in the lead. Block DP. I think that's a dead Gordo. Is it? Yep. Ouchies. He went right into super so it did a lot of damage. Oh okay okay makes sense makes sense. Yep. See, I, I'm always scared with my supers. I try and get confirms into them because, yeah. like, I. <laughs> it's really you really just have to feel it out for or like know when you can go into super because sometimes it does more damage to do your super earlier in your combo because less scaling. Yeah. Well, it's like I've gotten punished really hard for doing supers yeah, if you randomly. Miss, if you don't know how to confirm your super, just your B and B and cancel into super. It'll still do nearly the same amount of damage, and it's a lot safer. And also, I know in Resonance, you can cancel anything into a super. Yes, you can cancel anything into a super. Can you do supers in the air? Depends on the character. If you go to their command list and look, you'll see air okay if you can do it in the air. Okay, because, like, Ruby has, like, uh, you know, the BBB, jump, BB, jump, BB. Yes. And I'm wondering if she can cancel that into a super. Anyway, you going back to this, though. We Yeah, we need to focus a little Ruby, bit. These guys want commentary. Yeah, Ruby doesn't have any aerial supers. Not, I don't think Ori or Gordo don't either, but, like... Batista has an aerial super. Yuzu has an aerial super. So it just depends character to character. Yeah, I'm it's character. Team. It's just character to character. Good so grab. It's funny that Sticky Docky's playing Ruby and I can't see that. Is that Ori? Ori. Ori? Ori, Ori sorry. Ori. Ori or Oreo. We will accept both terms. Uh, Oreo is like very similar to Weiss's archetype, so I find it funny yes. that he isn't just using white. <laughs> I mean, Weiss is much. Weiss is awful in this game. Really? Yes. That makes me sad. Same. Well, I, I guess it'd be bad if all the Ruby characters were broken. I've spent like all. I've spent so much time practicing Weiss, and she's awful. <laughs> Ooh, uh, but Ruby is definitely not awful. Those B and Bs do a lot of damage, and they're yes. very, Ruby like, fairly simple tier. to connect. I mean, it's not really the amount of damage Ruby does. It's how oppressive she is. Smack like long range. A lot of her stuff. It's just like fast, yep. big hitboxes. Really fast, big hitboxes. You can't punish her afterwards. One uh, one nerf that I've heard they're oh, talking about doing. Are you sure you can? That was straight up a sure you can. Yep. I'm, I'm not crazy, right? Nope, that is invincible DP sure you can. Okay, okay. All right, so Sticky Docky going up 2 0. Oh, let's see what Dreamcaster can do. Yep. He's doing the big think in the corner. He's like, hmm. 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 All right, see, DP. The, <laughs> see the big brain plays. Or let's just see more DPs. Or combos. You know, com com I, I'm a good combo guy. I love seeing a nice meaty combo. Yep. That being said, I do not like getting hit by big meaty combos. <laughs> yep. I can appreciate when I get hit by a really cool looking combo, though. Oh, yeah. If it looks cool, then it's fine. But if it's uh, if it's boring looking, it just kills me. I'm like, oh, man, this kind of sucks. Yep. So, uh, I mean, however, though, Sticky Docky, definitely not Gordo's, a boring combo character. Oh, almost. When Ori can go from air to ground there, she can pick up, but it's pretty tight to do. Okay. So Sticky Doc doesn't always get it. Ooh, I think he's, yep, he's gonna go for it again. Right up, dang. There it is. She, ooh, uh, one thing that I noticed is Ori and Ruby have like very similar combo trees. Yeah. A lot of characters in this game have A auto combo, B auto combo, 
air combo. That's a pretty standard combo for a lot of the cast. Well, it's just like, uh, just like the way from what I'm seeing. I grant I don't fully understand the game yet, but just like you yeah. know, uh, it looks like Ori is doing you know BB jump BB and then you know some landing attack, which is exactly yep. what Ruby does for her BB. Oh, that's a wild DP. I mean, you know, if it works. It didn't work though. Ouch. Okay. And this game's about to die. Little Sit. fun fact: when Ruby lands a uh, buzzsaw, her eye glistens. I did not know that. There's a fun fact. I I literally just saw it when I saw it while I was playing, and I just saw him do it. And uh, you know, speaking of eyes glistening, Sticky Docky with a clean three oh got the W in his eyeball. Yep. The Dreamcaster trying to take it did not. Ruby Aurie too strong. Yeah, it's just it wasn't in the cards. Hopefully he can review his set and uh, we were we did get a little off topic But I think we said a couple of good things. Yeah, and you know on the bright side There's always just the footage you can look at. Yes, go back watch your VODs. It'll help you improve a lot I am a big advocator for reviewing sets. I review all of my sets. Yes, I am too. 